Um, okay, first of all, I've, um, I must have apologized because I just got from Kandendal a, a few hours ago and uh, this presentation was, I had to rush through it. It all started more than 150 years ago with a one extraordinary horn. In 18, uh, 18, 1833, a mysterious horn arrived at La Specola, a famous zoology museum in, in Florence, Italy. Uh, and all it said it was it came from Southern Africa. No one knew what that horn was about. It had mo about 60 inch long and it was much longer than any horn known in nature. It became so much of a, an obsession at, at the time that some suggest it could be the, from the mythical unicorn. This was 1873. Funny enough, the famous uh, British explorer Frederick Salou became obsessed by that horn when he visited the, the, the museum in Florence. And because he was such an experienced hunter, he immediately understood that it must have been from a sable. But no sable were known to, to have that gigantic horn. So he very he was very intelligent to understand that it must have been somewhere in Africa. There had to be a special race of sable gigantic race of sable and he looked for the rest of his life for those for those gigantic sable not knowing where to find it would take more than two decades only 1909 the chief engineer of the Bengala railroad frank varian found and sent the first skins and skulls to london funny enough that was the year that frank salu died Fred frederick salu and so the giant sable antelope was finally described in 1916 and the name honors Frank Varian as Epatragus niger variana. It is truly a royal antelope. With horns reaching up to 65 inches, it is often regarded as the most magnificent antelope in the world. And immediately after discovery, it was intensely pursued by hunters and naturalists. It was protected by law as early as 1933 and is endemic to Angola. Not surprisingly, it became the most wanted trophy by the hunting community at the time. But more importantly, it is an, Ang an Angolan icon. It's, in a, it's a, a natural symbol of Angola. And you can see, it, of course, everyone knows what the Palanca is. It's you know the, the national team, the TAG airlines. So the Palanque is a, is a very, very important uh, symbol for all of us and all of us. It is also a beast of legends. Several books have been written about the giant sable internationally. 